Hello everybody, my name is Frosty Mate and welcome back to a brand new Adventure Quest Words Fresh Start V2 episode. Now as you can see on screen right now, I am just about to turn in one of the last quests in order to get rank 10 good. Now the way that I was doing this was doing the Tomb with a View quest and then simply going to Castle Undead. Castle Undead was a really good place to go so I appreciate everybody in the comments who told me about this place because it had so many more skeletal warriors that uh, allowed me to get the quest quicker and complete it quicker to get the 650 reputation or I think it's actually 600, I can't, I wasn't, uh, can, I can't actually remember but basically with the rep boost uh, you got obviously double the amount so yeah it was really really quick takes no time whatsoever as you saw there on screen to complete the quest and this is me getting rank 10 good which I was really happy about it didn't take too long it maybe took about two hours um, from rank 4 to rank uh, yeah rank 4 to rank 10 but there you go rank 10 completed um, I have a quick look at the shop but to be honest there's not met much for a non-member in there and it's unfortunate because I thought Altion's pride which was the rank 10 armor basically his armor I thought oh Altion's royal armor sorry I thought it was members but unfortunately sorry I thought it was non-members but unfortunately it is members so anyway that's it guys rank 10 good now we can start with the arch paladin quests as you saw just previously we do have rank 10 good and I did buy this armor it's a shame I don't have many things to go with it and I couldn't quite get the colors correct for the gift of the void you know it looks a bit doesn't look uh, that great so that's why we're going with the polished manslayer but I believe the place that we need to go is called uh, dark throne hub the dark throne hub and then what we're going to do is we're going to see here what this man is saying himself, the big man Artix. So, you want to become an Arch Paladin? Awesome, we always need more good heroes in the ranks. There are three different ways you can do that. If you already have the Paladin class, click the first button below and start your questing. If you do not, click the second button below to begin your quest. Okay, here we go. A strong base. So what we need is stone paladin armor and exalted paladin seal. So I won't read this all out, but uh, so the stone paladin, I think you can just buy from a shop. Um, yeah, in temple and then from his shop. Okay, fair enough. So that's, we may as well just buy the thing here. Exalted, what? 500k. 500k geez how am i going to get five how am i going to get 200 more thousand gold uh can i sell anything don't really want to sell like my contract on nolgoth i don't even know you can do if you can even do that anymore because i think that gives 100k that would make it 400 but damn 500,000. okay what i'm going to do then guys is i'm going to do some gold farming and then once I've finished that, I will come back. Okay guys, so I'm just about to get 500k as you can see. This is a really good place to get gold and XP. It's called Firewall. You don't have to be a member, you just go to this place and the monsters drop loads of, of the turn-in stuff. So as you can see here, we're getting past 500k gold and we're getting quite a lot of experience too. I've got an XP boost and a gold boost on just so we're maximizing the output as well as the arcane blade of glory which gives 25% extra experience. So from doing this we've almost leveled up and I haven't been doing it too long as you can see we still got 10 minutes left so I've only been doing this 10 minutes and we've managed to get 200k gold in 10 minutes. Uh, which is pretty crazy. It doesn't look like it because you're only getting 1k gold per turn in. But if you just keep doing it and doing it and doing it, it actually, it's not too bad whatsoever. You just slowly see it creep up. So it's like 200 times, like 200 turn ins basically. Um, as you can see, it just goes on forever and ever and ever. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in Temple first. And then what we're going to do is buy the Stone Paladin. Ah, I might actually have to complete the quests here. Merge shop. Yeah, so I'm going to have to complete the quest. Um, head down into the Crypt Discover Secrets of Doomwood. Oh, I hate this quest line. This quest thing goes on for ages. I didn't realize I'm going to have to do all of this. Okay. Oh, that's really annoying. So... 
let me go back then and buy the seal at least and then what we'll do then I'll have to just do this in my own time because I don't want to waste your guys time and just watch me do that that place because honestly it takes so long um, right what shop is this thing in? exalted paladin seal there we go so what other stuff can we get mysterious dungeon oh this is where you get the awesome blinding edge of obsidian i really like that anyway so i've got the seal we've got 58k left what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do that temple area so you guys don't have to watch me do that and then we'll catch up after i've completed it Okay guys, so I should now be able to buy this armor. Oh, thank God I have enough gold. I was thinking if it was a 500k again, man, I'm not going to be happy. But there we go, so we completed that bit. This didn't actually take too long. So let's go to the dark throne hub. Decent, let's turn this in. Right, uh, arch paladin, paladin recruits, there we go, bang. First quest done. Proof of the ve Valor. Valor. Paladins are required to have the strength to stand against evil, particularly the undead. This list contains some of the world's most dangerous incarnations of evil. Slay them and return with a trophy from each to prove your conquest. Oh geez. So under energy a thousand. Binkies. Uh, Uni Horn. Uh, Doom, Kitten Claw, Vordred Skull, Drade Haven Helm. Once you've finished this, that task, you must then complete the Arch Paladin traditional rite of passage and slay 1,000 undead in a single night. 1,000 undead energy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to quickly see if there's anybody in Doom Vault just now. Uh, I'm not expecting there to be anybody in there just because it's pretty dead. It, oh, maybe it actually is. It actually is. Go to Nor normally please fight the boss no go to elijah 332 no skipping ahead every room is a chance for me to kill you uh don't be like that so let me try and get this don't want to do that complete quests for god's sake man why do I have to do so many quests? Nothing's ever easy in this game, man. I swear, you can't just cut corners. <laughs> you have to play legit, and it's so annoying. Uh, I don't want to do all these quests. That is a cool pet, man. That's like a Paragon Moglin, dude. Let's just kill these, and then see if we can get through, like... Oh, this is so annoying, though. Right, turn in. More quests, yay. Fight to survive, fight to slain. Luckily, these ones are quite easy, but is this the map where you have to like try and go through the whole map without actually dying to get to Binky? Or Blinky, whatever he's called. <sighs> I'm finally at Binky, man. Like, jeez. This map, this whole area just is not fun. It's actually taking me ages. And I really thought that this was going to be easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end it here. And I'm just so drained. We're going to have to try and get this another time. In the next episode, we'll go do the complete the next quest. But Jesus, I honestly didn't think that this was be <laughs> didn't think it was going to be so draining. So what we'll do is next time we'll try and get the binky horn. And then do all the other ones and go on from there. My name is Frosty Mate. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below if you want to help me out kill this horse. Because I really need to get my anger out and kill this thing, man. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.